An attack on a member of Congress is raising questions about the treatment of repeat offenders who may also be mentally ill. Minnesota Congresswoman Angie Craig says that she fought off a convicted criminal who punched her in the face and tried to get into her apartment in Washington. Craig is now calling for changes to prevent known criminals from targeting new victims. And she spoke to our Scott McFarland, who joins us now from Capitol Hill. Scott, sounds like a good idea in principle. Good morning. Hey, Tony, good morning. The crime happened not far from here in an elevator in the Congresswoman's Capitol Hill apartment complex. And she says it reveals a problem happening in too many American communities. There was no way in hell I was letting him up to my apartment. And so Angie Craig says she spotted yeah. Kendron Hamlin, a man police believed to be homeless, in the lobby of her apartment complex last week. According to police, he was acting erratic, as if he was under the influence of an unknown substance. The encounter happened just after 7 in the morning when Craig bought her morning coffee. A police affidavit says after Craig said good morning to Hamlin, he followed her into an elevator, trapped her, and demanded to go inside her apartment. That was the moment that fight or flight kicked in. Police say Hamlin punched Craig in the face, grabbed her by the shoulder and collarbone and near her neck. All I could do was throw my coffee over my shoulder, which startled him. Um, but as soon as he regained, he came back toward me. And again, it was only until we got to the floor the elevator was headed to that I was able to escape. When police tracked down Hamlin, they say he kicked an officer and bit a detective. A CBS News review finds Hamlin had a lengthy track record of menacing crimes on and near Capitol Hill. Just weeks ago, he served time for striking a police officer and spitting blood at them. Also on his record, shoplifting, indecent exposure, breaking and entering, and more. I got attacked uh, by someone who the District of Columbia um, has not prosecuted fully over the course of almost a decade over the course of 12 assaults before mine that morning. And so I, I think we have to think about how, how in the world can we make sure that uh, we're not just letting criminals out. I mean, it, it wasn't even in every instance that he got 10 days or 30 days. Many times the charges were completely dropped before any justice was achieved at all. The alleged attack comes as Craig begins her fifth year in Congress, which has grappled over the past several years with criminal justice reform. And just last week debated a bill on how to better prevent repeat offenders. We have to get these repeat offenders off the streets. We also have got to figure out how we get people the mental health and the addiction help that they need because these people are getting back out and they're just recommitting the same crimes over and over and over again. One congressional proposal just released would require local prosecutors to better track how many criminal defendants have criminal pasts, how many have been given plea agreements, how many have been released to potentially reoffend. As for Kendred Hamlin, he's back in court here in Washington tomorrow, and his defense attorney did not return requests for comment. Nate? Scott, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry she had to go through yeah. something like that. Yeah. But on the other hand, because she is who she is, we're now talking about it. But it's yeah, I, terrifying what happened. Very terrifying. Her. People on the right have been talking about this for a long time. Yes. I mean, yes. they, they need to find a balance between you don't want to put people, you, you don't want to incarcerate people unnecessarily, and you also don't want to take mentally ill people against their will and put them in places that are going to do them harm. However, there needs to be a balance where dangerous people, who everyone knows are dangerous no. people, continue to be on the street. Repeat no. offenders that happen frequently. I mean, that's the issue. Tony, that he is the said issue. she was number 13. 13. And, and also, he has a, he's been around the building. There'd been trouble. Yeah. yeah.